Once again, welcome back to SCP Secret Files, this time for part three. What are we going to be tackling this time, I wonder? I can't wait to find out. It actually looks like we've got a file ready and waiting for us. Um, it looks like we're going to be making amendments to SCP-300 to start with. So we've got a location here, Yorkshire, England. Let's put that in the archive. All right, SCP-300 consists of an antique glass perfume bottle, presumably. All right. Yep, that fits. Okay, what else? Uh, these scenes generally take the form of pastoral or woodland scenes consistent with that of Victorian era England. Is that where that goes? Brilliant. Okay, what else? SCP-302 also invariably evaporates within two to eight hours of being drawn outside of SCP-301. There you go. That's that file done. All right, so just like before, we're starting off with a little bit of grunt work, you know? Okay, so let's add document 90B to SCP-90. Okay, what else have we got to add? Uh, oh, we're upgrading the status to Keta, all right. There you go, object class has been updated there. There's also an experiment conclusion. Okay, and we're done with that one too. All right. Understanding memetics in relation to SCP-898. Let's put that in the archive as well. Again, as I said last time, I encourage you to look these up on the wiki. I know I will be. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? This is quite a long one. Right, okay. Uh, there's an interview that I need to add. Okay, something else? Mm, must be right near the bottom. Okay. Ah, the object class. That's what we're missing. So it's uh, it's going from Euclid to safe. There you go. All right, that one's done. And it looks like there's no more tasks, at least for now. So let's go talk with my friends. Or the boss. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm here, director. There's a temporary archive that needs to be sorted. Okay. The others are in the field, so you'll have to take over. Now, I'm not going to ask, am I qualified enough? That doesn't look good. I'm going to say, with confidence, all right, leave it to me. The mission is an emergency, Carl. It is beyond your current level. But your recent performance has proven that you have the ability to accomplish it. Okay, uh, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Remember. Stay sane and always in awe. All right, get to it then. And another file has been added by the looks of it. I take it this is the chapter? SCP-239. Okay, it's quite an early one, so it's more likely that I'm familiar with it, but it's not ringing any bells, really. We're not getting much out of the data or the archive, actually. Do I want to read further? Yes, I do. Consciousness intrusion? Which plan? ARB potential development? What? Okay. Right. Welcome to case four, everyone. <clears throat> D6744. Please provide your identification code according to the mission letter. Four and twenty blackbirds. Looks like I'm playing as a D-Class again. Tell me, Doc, when was the last time this rag on my head was washed? <laughs> D-6744. According to the 7th edition of the Security Regulation Amendment, you must first provide your identification code. Otherwise, you will be executed. Hosh. Alright. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. You're a real fan of these formalities. Everything's gotta be right by the book with you. <laughs> Apparently so. Oh, here oh, we go. God, fuck. <laughs> Where are we? Mike Donald, consciousness intrusion expert, former leader of MTF UP2. Oh. Code name: Spider. Well, that's me. Now, level D personnel, number sixty-seven forty-four. I used to be part of a mobile None task of these force. Damn formalities. Just what the hell you want me to do? D sixty-seven forty-four. Do you know about the witch plan? Not really. I've heard the name. That's all. The plan is under the direct command of O5. Every last detail of the plan is protected by the strictest confidential terms. Okay. So what? 
D6744. What you're about to witness is top secret information of the Foundation. Whoa! What the hell is going on? That's a great question! A few hours ago, something went wrong with the Witch Plan experiment. <laughs> I can see the energy that! The of the human anomaly, SCP-239, is out of control. Right. It's begun diffusing outward, disintegrating okay. everything it touches. You guys seriously never cease to amaze me. <laughs> SCP-239 is now a ticking time bomb. Right. She could go off at any moment. Is that her? D-6744, I need you to enter the consciousness of SCP-239 to stop this bomb from exploding. Alright. The neural key is fully charged and ready to uh, enter up, the target. What? <laughs> space. Just... Begin the program. What program? Consciousness uh, begins what's to link. Uh, I guess they didn't hold it. The hell was that? All right. Yeah, D class are not always on death row. I don't know what I did, but I must have done something bad. Okay. So we're inside 239's subconsciousness now? Camus Mohan? Is that a name? What is that? <laughs> Whoa! Alright, yeah, I think we're definitely leaning in the horror direction again. Um, let's see, what have we got over here? A train set? Is that a snow globe? I guess that's 239 that I can hear. Right. I might know about this one. Okay, we got a rocking horse now. What's this one going to do? Where's it going to go? Left? Right? At me? Is it going to explode? <laughs> it's going to do something, I know it. Or maybe not, I don't know. Can I ride it? Oh, no, 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 I can't. D6744, can you hear me? Son of a bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> the situation is urgent. If you were still the way you used to be, you would have done the same. The way I used to be? What does that mean? Uh, oh? Hello there? Is that her? Hungry? Uh, uh, hey, wait! Right. D6744, what did you see? 239. A little girl, but she ran away when she saw me. That little girl is SCP-239. Right. What else have you discovered? Um, I'll get back to you when I know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking at here. Uh, is that a cake? Uh, no, no it's not. There's a little winding key. Is it a music box? Siguros? I'm sorry. Help. Help me. The girl's consciousness is severely Whoa. damaged. That probably wow. explains her total loss of energy control. Then how should we proceed? I don't know. You're the expert, right? <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay. The winding key? Right. Yeah, well, let's wind it up. And again? I'll have to enter her pre-conscious. Right. If there's a solution to this. It's going to be in there. Good. D6744. You really are the right person for this mission. Hmm. D6744, I must remind you, SCP-239 is no ordinary girl. Right. She is uniquely dangerous. Do not forget. Yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous too, don't forget. You were probably more dangerous when you used to be in the MTF. Right. Okay, so we're going through here, are we? Right. No going back by the looks of it. What the hell is this? This is still part of her subconscious? Her pre-conscious, right? <laughs> Again, great question. Whoa, okay. Probably want to avoid that guy. What the hell is he saying? There's no subtitles for him, but it doesn't make any sense. It's just a string of random words, isn't it? Hmm. Right. Well, he hasn't noticed me. Let's keep it that way. Snake cry turkey? What? Oh dear. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Oh. Will I? Holy 
mother of You might want to get out of here. Right, run, run, run! Oh, oh that Well you need to kick up the ass before you start running. Oh man, okay. Through here? Okay, it's unlocked. Good, good. Exit, can that be believed? <laughs> Alright, round the corner. Okay. Alright, let's see. Uh oh shit, I've gotta go left. Of course I'm gonna go left. Okay. Oh boy, I can see the shadow ahead of me. He's right behind me. Oh boy, okay. Fire exit. Oh shit. I just want to lose him around the corners, honestly. Are we following? Okay, we might be following the fire exit signs. Oh, we hit me again. Run, run. Keep running. Are we going left or straight ahead? Oh shit. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I oh, okay. Am I alright? Is it safe? What the hell is this? Oh, hang on, this is SCP-239's containment unit. Right. What the hell happened to it? Is that all glass? Wait, reset parts. Okay. Again, this is already feeling so different than the previous chapters. I really do admire this game's variety. So I've got to link all the fragments in the correct order. The lines cannot intersect. The fragments may only be linked once. Oh, I see, I've got to drag it. Okay, and hold left click. Up there, there you go. That's all of them. Easy as that, okay. I'm Dr. Oh. Hibbs. We are now conducting ability control test number 125 of SCP-239. Okay, let us begin. Right. First, set voltage strength to 30 kilovolts. Power on. Ooh. SCP-239. Move the target object to the designated location. Right. Oh, here we go. Ah. Control test number 125 has failed. I'm still pretty impressive, the voltage though. voltage intensity must be insufficient. Yeah? I'll need a new test site, along with new equipment that can handle a greater voltage load. Ah. Okay. So what was that? That was like a memory. Oh, there's something on the chair now. There's actually something over here on the desk. Let's see. Well, the containment unit just opened its door to me. Don't know if I really want to get inside, but I'm kind of curious as to what's on the seat. But what's this in this bright white? Uh, ARB Potential Development Plan. Okay. Document 1 of 8, by the looks of it. So, the objective is to activate the target's higher level reality distortion capabilities while ensuring that external forces can be directly intervened with and manipulated. So, the method is to conduct in-depth research and testing on the following hypothesis. High voltage stimuli encourage alpha brainwave divergence to induce the formation of a reality distortion field. The actual observed effects of reality distortion force under various voltages will be tracked and recorded, and the correlation curve graph between them will be established. The experiment shall use pulse voltage stimulation as the primary method, with a pulse voltage range of 100 volts to 30,000 volts. Okay, so during the experiment, uh, SCP-239's reality distortion capabilities have been deemed qualified. When receiving a stimulus involving the following words, Rainstorm Butterfly Fan. I was hearing those in the background. In fact, that guy that was chasing me may have been saying some of those words. Interesting. With this observation in mind, future experiments shall continue to employ these words to further test correlation amongst related speech sounds, impulse voltage, and ARB development. Right, okay. The project is to be transferred to Lab 355 in order to initiate pressurization experiments from 30,000 volts to 250,000 volts. Holy moly, right. I do know this one. Yeah, this is the girl that can manipulate reality if she wills it. If she wills it, it can happen. And I guess they're trying to harness that power. They're trying to control it. Okay. There's nothing else down here. Doesn't look like it, right. Well, the door is open. Let's go in and see what lies on the chair there. It's a toy, isn't it? Is that a unicorn? A horse? Ah. So... Tired. Sleep. Let me sleep. Just a while. Hmm. Oh, alright. Oh! And we're back here. And it looks like we've 
broken the door. Right, well I suppose it's it's gotta be placed on top, hasn't it? This isn't this isn't the music box as such, is it? Okay, is it three times again? Bird's nest call right. D sixty seven forty four. Do you copy? I do. Copy. The energy of SCP two thirty nine is still diffusing outward. What's your situation? Not the great. Situation's more complicated than I thought. I'm gonna need more time. Yeah. Be quick about it. I got it. Quit rushing me. Are we going through another door? It looks like it, doesn't it? Right. Well, it looks like I need to find more pieces. There's two more horses to find, I guess. There's quite a few doors just going around. Man. Okay. This is cool. I like this one. Okay. Where are we now? Somewhere in the facility. Have you heard? Heard what? O5 is displeased with the slow progress of Dr. Pierce's experiment. The O5 Council? They've appointed a new director to take over the project. You sure it's not just a rumor? Today's morning session was chaired by Dr. Pierce. It's true. Trust me. If I'm being honest, I don't really like Dr. Pierce. Something about him, you know, just gives me the creep. <coughs> He's coming. Stop. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Another memory. Interesting. All right. Here we go. We've got the reception here. Another document to collect. Notice for visiting. Right. It's uh, a personnel transfer. Dr. Violet Tattoo? Tau Tau? Tattoo, I think, maybe? All right. Anything else back here? Looks like that's it. Okay. Oh, wow. What is going on through here? Did 239 do this as well? I don't know. This is just a fragmented subconscious, I suppose, isn't it? Right. Again, let's reset the parts. Um, alright. Feels like a Professor Layton puzzle or something like that, quite honestly. It is sort of giving me a bit of a guide. There you go. Easy as that. How are the preparations for the experiment coming along? Equipment's been checked. Everything is ready. Good. Anything to be aware of? Sam went to the counseling room after yesterday's experiment. Give him an injection of amnestic agent and let Arthur take his place. Right. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else I can have a look at? Yes, there is, actually. This is Sean's employee card. He's the director of the research group for SCP-239. Something else as well. What's that? Uh, Team Black Honey Badger. An MTF unit, presumably. Alright. Something else? Something over here? Sean's diary. To say that I am displeased with the experiment results would be a gross understatement. Each day we seem to step on the critical point of success only to never cross the line. It's a never-ending cycle of anger, frustration, exasperation, and excitement. A thousand mixed emotions swirl within me, to the point where I can no longer distinguish one from another. But to give up now is not an option. I know that much. The successful conclusion of this experiment must be seen through to the end. With failure comes experience, and I now know where the main problem lies. The maximum safe voltage permitted by the Foundation is still too low. I'll need to find a way to increase the limit. Resistance, agency, free will. Rest assured, nothing will stand up to the power of extreme voltage. What about her life? I guess she can take it, right? But damn, I mean, that's gotta suck. Right. Uh, I guess we're moving on to the observation room. Let's see. Okay, something over here? Switch on. Okay. Try again. Set voltage strength to 250 kilovolts. Dr. Pierce, the heart rate of SCP-239 has now exceeded 160. That's her, the isn't it? The physiological indicators are quickly approaching their limit. Perhaps we should consider pausing for a while. Pressurize. Set to 250 kilovolts. Go. Now. SCP-239. Pay close attention to my instructions. Crush that car in front of me. Whoa. Okay, she's doing it. She is doing it. Alright. She seems to be fairly calm as she's doing it too. 
all those vaults going through her though. Wow. Oh shit! What's the meaning of this. Power cut. Why <laughs> that? All right. Long time, Sean. What's it been? Seven years? I've got no time to play catch up with you. Not a great first impression you're leaving either. Barging into my lab and interfering with my experiments. According to Foundation security regulations, I could have you detained, you know. <laughs> Still the same old tempo. You haven't changed one bit, Sean. Well, if you want to talk business, then let's talk business. You should have a look at this first. This is... No. No. What's that? This is O5's mandate. Effective immediately. Which plan and all SCP-239 experiments will be led by me. Oh, she's taken no, over. That's... No! This is a mistake! It's not possible! Don't take it personal, Sean. The simple fact is that the development of SCP-239 is moving too slow. They want a more ambitious approach. A new process, if you will. Hmm. A new process? What new process? Just what do you know about process? Please. Violet, enlighten me. Sean, let us end our bickering with this. Victory comes to those who fight, and to those who last. Right. Okay. Looks like there's now something down on this chair that wasn't there before. Mandate of the Foundation, right. The O5 Council of the Foundation has entrusted Dr. Violet Tattoo as the new principal investigator of the SCP-239 project, replacing Dr. Sean Pierce. The authority of this position shall include the transfer of personnel within the project, the formulation of the project development method, the signing of documents, and handling of matters pertaining to research activities. This authorization order shall be recognized effective immediately. And that's from one of the O5 members. Right. What's going on with the doors? <laughs> Complete blackout in there by the looks of it. I don't suppose I can maybe turn the power back on, can I? No? Alright. Oh, hang on. Uh, we've got something over here. What is that, a lightsaber? No, no, not exactly. Oh, that's part of this as well. Does that go in the center? Right. We're creating like a, a merry-go-round carousel thing, aren't we? Yeah, okay. And around it goes again. Bird's nest, do you copy? Copy, loud and clear. Just what exactly is which plan? That's not your concern. Focus on the mission at hand. Mm. Stop the spread of energy diffusion released by SCP-239 and do it quick. Right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't really have much of a choice in the matter. Okay, here's door number three, and afterwards it looks like we got maybe two more to go. Right, okay, so what are we going to find through the blue door? Oh boy, another fucked up office. So, uh, another puzzle to solve, right? Let's reset the parts. Um, alright. That's one way of doing it. Director Tattoo. The storybooks and toys we ordered have arrived at C3 Warehouse. Good. How's the containment room remodeling coming along? Mm. The bed and daily necessities are all in place. Oh, yeah. The demolition of the ARB potential development plan will be completed next. Good and good. Now, how about the formal meeting with our little princess? Okay. I guess we've got to follow them as they go have that formal meeting. Before that, though, there's a couple of things I want to have a look at. All right. Oh, this is 2004 now. Ah, it looks like I missed a couple of things. Um, right, so let's see. Book purchasing list. Free a child's true potential. The baby book. Between parent and child. Fig trees. Right. Interesting. Okay, so she's got a slightly different method uh, of, of gaining her trust, I think, in, you know, working this out. All right, there we go. There's something over here as well. That looks out of place. There you go. Remodeling plan, right. Okay, so a lot is going to be dismantled. There's going to be some engineering and clearing, and then 
testing and uh, inspecting. Right. Hmm. All to do with that. It looks like a you know a, a nicer containment unit, I suppose. Something else over here, by the looks of it. Okay. Our highest endeavor must be to develop free human beings who are able of themselves to impart purpose and direction to their lives. Understanding your child's inner turmoil provides an emotional mirror that helps them understand themselves by allowing them to feel recognized, to feel that their views and ideas are valued. You build up their self-esteem. Once a child feels that their personal worth has been recognized, they will be much more capable and resilient when dealing with people and events in their lives. The motto we must hold in our hearts is this. I will seek to understand. I will show my understanding. I will not criticize and condemn. Once a child identifies with the values the parent embodies, the child will develop and acquire personal standards of self-regulation within their own selves. Okay. So, that's what she's going with. Uh, does that also include, you know, thousands and thousands of volts going through her? Don't know. Right. I think that might be it. Let's move on. Alright. Down here? Let's catch up with them. <laughs> Where are they? Where's the memory? Okay. Ah, right. Let's request access or open the door. It's a very thick door, but yeah, she's a, a very powerful being. There she is. Hello there. Hey. Now don't Hold run off. Second. Don't. I'm not gonna hurt you. God damn it. <laughs> When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine something beautiful, and those terrible things will disappear. Who... Who are you? My name is Violet Tattoo. You can just call me Violet. I will take care of you from now on. No one will hurt you ever again. Hmm. Okay, again, the containment unit opens. That's the end of the memory. Yeah, so she's got a different methodology. Uh, it seems a bit more compassionate than before, at least. But, you know, at the end of the day, she's still in a box. Alright. That's it for today's bedtime story. Alright. Hi. We'll have a little test tomorrow. You need your rest. Afraid. S sleep. Nightmares. SCP-239. Are you afraid of having nightmares again? Hmm. Yes. Afraid. Uh, having nightmares could be a just real problem. Just remember what I told you. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine your little friends in the stories all running out of their books to come play with you. Then you won't be afraid. Right. Get some sleep now. Remember to imagine those beautiful images. Okay. Anything to stop the monsters in your nightmares manifesting in real life. What's going on? I guess I've got my eyes closed as well. Oh. Okay. I seem to be alone here. With another storybook. Okay. Long, long time ago. <laughs> there was a robin. It wanted a home of its own. I bet. Oh, oh, shit. All right. <laughs> We've got a tortoise here, okay. Sorry, buddy, I'm kind of skipping the queue, aren't I? An elephant? Oh, yeah. All right, are we going in? We're, uh, so, uh, what? We're, we're adjusting the elephant, are we? Oh, hang on, right, there you go. Um, well, that doesn't look right. Looks like you got elephantitis, ironically. Okay, is yeah, same with this leg too. And maybe the tail's a bit too long, I don't know. Okay. The robin needs an elephant. Oh yeah? This is the house should oh. have very strong floors. Strong enough to support my weight. <laughs> the robin shakes his head. 
Oh. Look at all these zebra. Oh, hello. Oh, they're being hunted. <laughs> the cheetah stops its hunting. It pulls back on whispers. There should be beautiful spotted curtains to block out the harsh sun. We've got giraffes next. Robin shakes its head again. The giraffes speak from way up high. The house should have a high roof. Mm. The place should hang from the ceiling. The robin flaps its wings and flies away. Hippos now? Wow. The hippos let out a loud yawn. The house should be built in a pool. So we can bathe anytime and sleep anytime. The robin shakes off the water droplets and flies away. Alright, what next? Okay. Pride of lions, I think. Here's the robin. Right, okay. Control robin. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's Flappy Bird! Okay. They've actually incorporated Flappy Bird into this game. Amazing. This game is just full of surprises, isn't it? Wow. Alright. It seems a little easier than Flappy Bird, thankfully. But yeah. We're, uh, we're flying around uh, a whole bunch of lions, it looks like. Is the robin going to ask their opinion on how to build a lovely home as well? Okay. So far, so good. Nearly there. Don't want to hit any walls at this point. Okay, just one more. That's the finish line, right? The robin flies to a small hill. Okay. <laughs> the robin well, right shakes its head and flies away. Right. It flies and flies, and finally it lands on the back of a rhinoceros. The rhinoceros says, Everyone travels with all sorts of strange questions inside, but after traveling far and long enough, the answer that everyone finds is that the truth is not far, for it lays within our very hearts. Robin, what kind of home do you want? The Robin says, the home I want is... To be out of the containment unit, presumably. SCP-239, what are you doing? What's going on here? What's happening? Yeah. SCP-239, we have to work and rest according to plan. But I... Alex, clear up the mess. At once, Director. SCP-239, this is all for your own good. You must be obedient and complete tomorrow's test. After that, I'll give you a gift. A gift? All right. Back to sleep now, SCP-239. What, what mess were they talking about, I wonder? Did she manifest that into reality? I mean, maybe that wasn't just merely a dream. Cool. Okay, I guess we're going this way. At the end of the day, I mean, she's just a scared little girl being experimented on, right? It's a shame. But she is potentially very dangerous. I, I can see both sides, but still. Right, okay. Right, where are we going? Floor three, apparently. I don't know which site this is, specifically. It might say somewhere, actually. Maybe it was on the door. Whoa! What the hell? Biological waste treatment tank. The permissioning of the experimental site must be completed at once. The formal presentation is next week. I'll see to it, Director. What shall we do with these creations of SCP-239? She created all this? Destroy them. Wow. I think including the animals that we just saw as well. I think that was... I think that was real. What's this? Okay, something on the floor. Oh, another one. Yes. A gift for me. Happy. Okay. Yeah. We definitely want to keep her happy. If she's sad or angry, we're all dead. <laughs> 
Okay. Alright, I think there's just one more. Uh, hey, you there? D-6744 calling bird's nest. D-6744 calling bird's nest. What the hell are these guys up to? Coffee break. Yeah, coffee break. Okay. Three down. One to go. Maybe, maybe two to go. So, through the pink door. Okay. Director Tattoo. The experimental site has been fully prepared. The report may begin at any time. Excellent. If today's experiment goes smoothly, I will have full control over which plan. Go, check again to be sure that everything is in place. There can be no omissions. At once, Director. These scenes are reminding me very much of a game I played a few years ago called, I think, Get Even? Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Violet, hey. Oh, okay. Violet. Violet! I've got to have a word with you. Just one quick moment. Dr. Pierce, as you can see, I'm very busy at the moment. We'll be presenting Witch Plan's progress to the O5 Council shortly. What is Witch Plan, right. exactly? Yes, that's just it. Listen, SCP-239's abilities are greater than you could ever imagine. She is infinitely more powerful now than when she was born. Mm. Your experimental procedures lack the proper controls. Any mistake, no matter how minuscule, could have irreversible consequences. Dr. Pierce, let us not forget that it was your previous missteps that caused us to miss the ideal incubation period for SCP-239. If we don't cultivate her using my method, the window of opportunity will be closed for good. Hmm. But listen, if you go about it using your method, you will repeat the accident that happened seven years ago. You do remember, don't you? Heisenberg? Freeman, Claire? Enough, Sean. Don't you dare bring up their names. Sean, the progress of civilization has always come with sacrifices. You don't get one without the other. To have the chance to harness the abilities of SCP-239, no price is too great. Violet, you are playing with fire. Dr. Pierce, it's time. I suggest you go to the first floor to get front row seats to civilization's next leap of progress. Violet! Listen to me! Violet! I think maybe she should have heeded his warnings there, to be honest. I don't know if this is going to be a, a great leap forward. We'll see, I suppose. Okay, right. Uh, looks like there's a document over here. Let's see. The test plan. Right, so... Uh, convert pure water into wine. That was passed. Resurrect birds that have been dead for more than 12 hours. That was also passed. Create a fig tree and turn living things into molecules. I, I guess they haven't been performed yet. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I am Violet Tattoo, and this is the meter test part one. Where's that coming from? SCP-239. Do you remember our friend here? The little robin with the pretty feathers. Can you make it come out and play with us? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's alive. Good, SCP-239. Hey. Very well done. Alright, let's continue with part two. Now we need to give the Robin a home. A home? Yes, a home. Just like in the storybook. The Robin needs a tree to call home. Ah. So let's give him a big tree. A big fig tree. Bye. It's not the tree. SCP-239, you just need to listen and follow my orders. Hmm. Come on now. Let's give our good friend the Robin a big tree. Hmm. Not tree. Hmm. SCP-239, I need you to follow orders and make a tree. SCP-239, if you don't follow orders, there will be no more nice things for you. Yeah. I 
I think this is going to backfire a bit. Oh, yeah. She's ordering it. Okay, hang on. No need to panic. This is all standard. SCP-239 will have a slight effect on the current when using her abilities. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Okay. Oh, she's she's doing it. Wow. As you can well see, under my guidance, SCP-239's abilities grow more and more powerful each day. It's a very crooked tree, Over isn't it? Time, we will expand the experimental content, and we will see even more advancements. It just keeps on growing. SCP-239, you can stop now. That's enough. Yep. That. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on? Oh boy, yep. I knew it was going to go tits up some way or another. Oh, they're still in there somewhere. You can just about see her. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Violet's out of there. Okay. Oh. All right. And that's the end of that memory, apparently. Wow. Well, in some ways, that's a success, but uh, I don't know. Maybe the Robin doesn't want to live there. Right. Look at all this stuff. Anything else? Can we use the PC? Ah, actually, there is something else. Ah, okay, this is this is Witch Plan. Okay. So, uh, for a long time now, new and ever more threatening SCPs have been emerging in every corner of the world. The Foundation has gone to great lengths to create more containment spaces to effectively contain them. However, the traditional methods of containment have proven unable to keep pace with the growing demands and crisis levels. In response to the urgency of the situation, the O5 Council instated a new containment approach in July 2002. Rather than physical containment, the new approach seeks to harness SCP-239's reality distortion abilities to contain other SCPs. That project has been given the code name Witch Plan, so that's what it is. So let's see. Uh, at 9 p.m. October 22nd, 1998, a baby girl was born in Amrita Hospital in the southern suburbs of Little Rock, Arkansas. Her birth caused a great distortion of the space surrounding the hospital. Thago 14, Black Honey Badger, the Foundation's mobile task force, rushed to the scene to contain the subject. The operation was successful but costly, with 15 agents killed and two seriously injured. We heard some of their names, I think, when they were talking earlier. In March 2000, uh, someone of the O5 Council put forward a plan of containing SCPs using SCP-239's reality distortion abilities, with 239 at the core of the development concept. In July 2000, the plan was approved and codenamed Witch Plan in internal files. And we've got some people involved with the project there. Interesting. Right, okay. So they want to harness her power to contain other SCPs. I get it, but I don't think it's gonna work. Right. Okay. Stop it, SCP-239. That's an order. Stop now. God have mercy. Sorry it took me so long I was reading. God damn it! Why won't it open? Uh well, Sean? there's the button. Sean! Guess I don't want to push Sean, it. Oh. The backup door outside. Help me open it. Come on, quick. Violet, I told you you were playing with fire. Yeah. Of course she didn't let me out. She's lost her mind. What are you doing? Open it. Open the damn thing. No. No, Violet. I can't. What? What do you mean? SCP-239 is out of control. Why would I open the gate? What the fuck are you saying? Open it! You're right, Violet. Victory comes to those who fight, and to those who last. And he plans to last. You're talking crazy, Sean. This is not that. Open the fucking thing! An accident of this magnitude? It's just what I need to prove myself. Bloody hell. Sean! Sean, don't think like that! We can work together. We'll do it your way. Your rules, your method. Whatever you want. We'll do. I know. I'll quit. I'll resign. Which plan is all yours? 
I will use these learnings to improve the plan and equipment. I've never been so certain of success. No, Sean. Let's not think like that. Let's talk things through. You have proven invaluable, Violet. You will not die in vain. No, Sean, no. No, 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 you fuck. You fucking Sean. I quit. Sean, Whoa, please. whoa. And that's the end of her. Wow, Sean. Brutal. Cutthroat. Oh. 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 Sir. This, uh, <laughs> this goes on top. Oh, she didn't mean to. I think she's just getting irritated. She's just getting angry and, well, she doesn't like getting ordered around by everyone. She just wants to live a normal life, probably. Right, again, let's give it another spin. Another three spins. All right. D sixty-seven forty-four. Oh, he's back the now. Energy output is getting out of hand. How much longer? So this is the witch plan, huh? Are we anything more than tools to you? Hmm. It's not about that. This is about saving the world. Either you fix this, or we're all screwed. Yeah, no pressure. It's what I'm doing. Then move your ass and do it already. All right, all right. Yeah, suck my nuts. <laughs> Quitting the foundation was the best damn decision of my life. Ah. <laughs> So that's what he did. He decided to quit, and he ended up as a D-class. I guess he knew too much. Oh, okay. Um, yet another fucked up office. So, presumably, another puzzle. So, let's see. Let's see if we can reset the parts here. Okay. Oh, we've got a... We've got two colors. So it's yellow to yellow, red to red, presumably. Okay. There you go, and then if we just go around the outside with this... Yes! I now present to you the ARB Potential Development oh, Device 2.0. This device is capable of not only better stimulating the potential of abnormal objects, but can also automatically turn on the respective electric field control, so long as the abnormal objects exceed the preset amplitude. Hmm. This will ensure that the experiment is foolproof with zero chance of runaway. The tragedy of Directed Tell 2 cannot be repeated. We must learn from our mistakes. We must not forget the enormous power of SCP-239. And we must treat security as a top priority. Otherwise, all of this will be for nothing. Do not forget the credence we live by. Secure, contain, protect. This we must uphold at every turn. Okay. Were they members of the O5 Council? I think so. The humanoid members. I think one of them's a cat. Um, <laughs> okay, so we've got a couple of documents here. Let's see. Okay, her death certificate. Right. Yeah, fractured skull. Hemorrhagic shock. Hmm. Pro cause of death, progressive cervical hematoma. Wow. All right. The development of which plan will be delayed as a result of the accident. Dr. Someone, who provided referral for Violet Tattoo, will be held jointly liable for the resulting accident. Because that's fair, isn't it? Okay. Sean's reinstatement. There you go. After deliberation, the O5 Council has decided to reinstate Dr. Sean Pierce. Just as he wanted. Okay. Something back here as well? Alright. So... The activation, direction, and controllable details here. Wow, the ultra-high pulse voltage it generates. It's 600,000 volts to nearly a million volts. 950,000 volts. Apparently, they can more effectively promote the advancement of the project. The expected period is three months, so she's going to get put through even more pain and experimentation. Poor kid. Poor, poor kid. Right, okay. Yeah, that was 0506, um, who agreed with this, it seems. All right. What about this? 0507 also agreed. 0509 agreed as well. Okay, we got a majority decision here. 0511 abstained. Didn't disagree, but abstained. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right, was that? Okay, that's 7 out of 7 in 2005. I found all the documents here, so let's get out, shall we? Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, hello. 
It's okay. I just want to talk. No. Stay away. You should probably listen to what her. What happened? It, it's not your fault. Oh. Okay, all right. Oh, shit. Whoa. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. What the hell's this? Is this what we saw at the beginning? Maybe. It looked a little similar to this anyway. Oh, wow. She's hooked up to it. This is the device sending her all those vaults. I am Dr. Sean Pierce. December 25th, 2005. 16.30 hours. This is the first experiment of ARB Plan 2.0. SCP-239. We will repeat the previous tests first. Experiment 1. Strength test. Pass rate of 95%. Okay. Voltage strength, 600 kilovolts. 600,000 volts. SCP-239. Crush the car in front of you. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh right. I'm playing as 239? Okay, what? Well, I'm crushing the car, I think. Yeah. Alright. And again. Oh, okay. I'm going to be abusing my E key on my keyboard. Oh, boy. Okay, this one's much tougher. Okay. And again. Oh, my poor keyboard. I'm going to need a new one at this rate. <laughs> ah! Come on. Come on. Oh, this is tough. I guess it's tough for her as well. Oh, jeez. Alright, this one this one seems a little easier. I'm gonna fold it in half. Wow. Okay, we're actually playing as an SCP. That's pretty cool. Alright, so... Test successful? Right. Alright, sounds like she usually does this. 700 kilovolts. We're on. 700,000. Put the fragments on the ground back together. And there's another charge going through my body. Alright. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, I'm, I'm just collecting it all. Okay. Holy moly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, was that a success or a fail? Okay. Pass. Right, right. Good. We'll now begin the new test. New test? Experiment three. Creation test. Right. Pass rate indeterminate. Hmm, okay. Voltage strength. 800 kilovolts. Power on. Touch. SCP-239. Reassemble this junk into a truck. A real, operational truck. Not some fancy replica. Okay. Does she know how to do that? I mean, hmm, okay. Right. Just gotta time it. Oh, right, right, right. No, I understand, I understand. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, that's its limit, isn't it? I'm the one who's in charge of this experiment. 950 kilovolts. Now! Jeez. Power on. He's ruthless. Ah! The Robin again. You do? The to 1, A million volts? Get 
Oh boy. I struggled with the much bigger sections. This is impossible. Didn't I do it? It was so close. Oh man. I guess it was meant to fail though, right? What the hell is this? Okay. Oh shit. Okay, right. What is going on here? Um, I think I did see like a flash of this at the beginning. Oh, he's back, is he? Wonderful, wonderful, okay. Bugger me. Right, are we are we following the cable? Where are we going? What are we doing here? If we are, we're ooh, okay, hang on. Looks like he's maybe going around the corner. Okay, wait, hang on. He's over there. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Wonderful. Wonderful! It's exactly what you want to see, isn't it? Alright. Uh, let's hope he's on a, a fairly simple patrol path of just sort of walking around, because I'm going to tail him. Yeah. I think I want to follow this cable. Okay. So far, so good. Round here, then. Wait, what was that? Wait, is there a- oh shit. Oh shit, right, 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 gotta go, gotta go, there's another one! Right. Oh boy. Oh, oh! This way, okay. Just keep following the cable, I can do this, I can do this. Oh sh shit. Okay. Oh. oh, come on, come on, that's it! That's the last part, isn't it? She feels so used and abused, right? There you go, that's the last horse. So let's wind it up again. Alright. Hey. Okay. D6744. Nicely done. Uh, hold on. The outflow of energy of SCP-239 has subsided and is now beginning to dissipate. We have regained control. Uh, just hold on. Again, a job well done. The synapse is now ready to be disconnected. Hmm. Can you just hold the fuck on and listen for a damn change? <laughs> What's the matter? The problem hasn't yet been solved. She's still lost deep in her mental anguish. Yeah. That's not our concern. Of course the it isn't. crisis has been averted. Innumerable lives have been saved. Your mission is complete. My mission's not complete until she is stable. Compassion in times of desperation leads only to the destruction of yourself. Three minutes. You owe me that much. For all this, you owe me. Three minutes. I can enter her subconscious and fix this. Three minutes. Very well. I'll disconnect the synapse in three minutes. If you're not back, then so be it. I will show no compassion. No, I'm, I'm getting that vibe from you. Yeah, definitely. So we've got three minutes, 180 seconds. We're probably less than that now. Right, okay, hang on. Okay. Right, we gotta we gotta do this quick. Oh, wow, alright. Just yeah, just punch right through. And again, okay. Okay, wh uh what's this? What are we doing? Where are we? Is this the facility? Oh wow. Holy shit. What's going on around there? Whoa. A body badger has entered the value anomaly area. Oh now quickly approaching. Oh right. This is where she took out 15 people and injured a few of them, right? Oh! I suppose that's where we want to go, isn't it? Okay, reset parts. Okay, right, 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 right. Uh, let's do that. Um, hmm. No. No, 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 no. Reset, reset. Done. Okay, awesome. Right. Where is delivery room two, precisely? Okay, hang on, there's a document here. Uh, da -da 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 29 year old, right, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't think I've got the time. Round here? Okay. Back here. Oh, yeah, look at all this. I think we're heading in the right direction. Oh man, another one? Um, okay.
Maternal dystocia, profuse bleeding, send to operating room now. What? <laughs> I've heard they scream so many times. <laughs> right, well, I suppose we're going this way, aren't we? This would be delivery room two. Value fluctuation increasing. Whoa! I was not expecting that. How much more time have I got, by the way? Ah, uh, there's Violet. Right, reset the parts one more time. Okay, oh, brilliant. Um, uh, let's see. There you go. Straight line up. Nice! A lovely princess with beautiful blue eyes. Angel. Seguros. We saw that at the beginning, didn't we? SCP-239 has been contained. Wow, okay. I guess my three minutes are up. SCP-239! 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 That's an order! SCP-239, that's an order! SCP-239, do as I say! No! SCP-239, do as I say! Thank you! Come on! Do it! Come on, do it! No! No! SCP-239! No! SCP-239! No! SCP-239! No, no, no! She just doesn't want to get ordered around, does Don't she? Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. No. Maybe you weren't meant for this world. Those eyes. Imagine. Imagine. Beautiful. Images. Poor kid. Oh? Oh. Robin says. <laughs> My home is squishy all over, <laughs> with shiny warm lights oh. and no more cold steel. Look at that dragon up there. Look familiar? Filled all the way with beautiful star stickers. <laughs> and colorful lights everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere I go, they twinkle, twinkle like little eyes. <laughs> so many good books, with the cutest animals inside. They only say nice things to me. They always want to chat with me. But they don't want to order you around, right? So many beautiful decorations. A soft bed, mountains of toys. I can play all day, anywhere I want. I'll have my favorite toy. Yeah? Beautiful carousel. I'll ride and ride, and it will take me anywhere. There. I will not be yelled at. I will not be punished. Yeah. I can sing as much as I like. I hope. I hope. I hope so much to live here forever. My home. Saguros is home. Right. I, oh, okay. I think we're coming out of it now. Yeah. Oh, my head. Take a deep breath. Just some minor side effects from the forced disconnection. Right. She's not coming back. What? In the end, she chose to shut off her subconscious. She'll sleep forever. Like a plant. Maybe that's for the best. Anyways, our primary concern is the incident report. It'll require some brainstorming. Hmm. Not my concern. No. I'll arrange for someone to take you back. See you on the next mission. Thanks. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. No? Whoa! Did he gain some of her powers there? Maybe. Maybe the power lied in her subconscious, which she transferred over. Okay, well there you go. Um, I, I guess that's, that's it for Carl, right? Back to the mission system. Holy shit. Okay, so we need to update 239 with containment procedures. All right, uh, we know all about which plan now, so let's transfer that over. 
And the Demeter plan, right? SCP-239 turning eight years old soon, okay. Okay, again, we've got a class change from Euclid to Keta. All right, there you go. That's the archive updated. Well done, young man. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Director Hour. With a reality distorting anomaly classified as Keta, it would seem keeping the subject in a state of comatose is the only viable solution. You're right. This place is not what I thought it was. I'm still learning to understand and abide by the rules. When I handed this task to you, I was frankly rather worried about whether or not you'd be able to complete it. It seems you're ready. Ready? What do you mean? Carl, someone wants to talk to you. Oh, okay, a message from an unknown contact. This is different. Hello, Carl, she says. Uh, who are you? It's not 239, is it? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is, who are you? Carl, it's just a name, a symbol. I am the one who will guide you to the answers. What should I do? First, you will need to complete some warm-up exercises. Take the elevator to the 15th floor, was it? All right. Okay, we're hopping out the PC. We're back in the facility. And we need to go to the elevator. We need to go to Sector B-24. We're going to be doing that in the next part of SCP Secret Files. Thank you very much for watching Part 3, and I hope to see you back in Part 4. So what? D-6744. What you're about to witness is top secret information of the Foundation. Whoa! Is that a name? What is that? <laughs> Whoa! Then how should we proceed? I don't know! You're the expert, right? <laughs> We're going through here, are we? Alright. You might want to get out of here. Right, run, run, run! Oh, oh that, well, you need to kick up the ass before you start running. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I, oh, okay. It looks like that's it. Okay. Oh, wow. What is going on through here? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's Flappy Bird! Whoa! It's normal. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Then move your ass and do it already. All right, all right. Yeah, suck my nuts. <laughs> Quitting the foundation was. <laughs> okay, all right. And again, oh, my poor keyboard. I'm gonna need a new one at this rate. <laughs> this is impossible. Didn't I do it? Okay. Oh shit. Just keep following the cable. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, sh shit. Is this the facility? Oh, wow. Uh, da -da 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 29 year old, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't think I've got the time. Whoa. I was not expecting that. No? Whoa. Did he gain some of her powers there? <laughs> 